Your ability to set strong boundaries will determine how high value of a woman you can ever become. Being high value is literally shaped by the boundaries that you are setting for yourself and your ability to enforce them. And in this video, I'm going to give you five boundaries that a high value woman swears by. But in a separate video, I'm going to explain how you can learn to set strong boundaries and enforce them when necessary. So stay tuned for more videos on the topic. The first boundary I'm going to talk about is the fact that no is a complete sentence. This sentence literally led to one of my biggest aha moments ever, when I realized that saying no did not need to be followed by any explanation, justification or reasoning. If you are anything like I used to be, you probably feel the need to add all sorts of explanations to why you're saying no to something. And that is because you are a nice person and you were raised to believe that saying no is mean and rude. But the truth is saying no has nothing to do with being a nice person or a mean person. You can be a mean person and say yes to a lot of things and be a nice person and a good person, but stand up for yourself and say no to something you don't want in your your life. I consider myself as a recovering nice person who got walked over and taken advantage of many times so I had to learn at some point that I needed to stand up for myself and say no and I don't always have to explain myself. And when I started my own high value woman journey, I noticed that the ability to simply say no is one of the key characteristics of high value women that I got to observe. More than that, I came to realize that this ability to stand for themselves and show a tiny bit of aggression did not take anything from their attractiveness. Men were still interested in these women and they, and they seemed to want them and respect them even more for standing up for themselves. So my advice to you is to just get over the feeling that you have to justify yourself for everything you do or refuse to do. Understand that you are entitled to saying no and that doing so will not affect your attractiveness. In fact, it may even increase it. Remember, if you're not comfortable doing something or you simply don't want to do it, you are 100% entitled to say, I am sorry, but I just don't want to do that. Number two, intimacy is not a currency. It is undeniable that there is a growing trend of men feeling entitled to sex and intimacy when they open their wallet for you and it does not even matter how much money they quote unquote invest in you. The funny thing is the lower value they are, the more entitled they feel about sex even when they only got you something as cheap as a $5 coffee and somehow this makes them think they have some right over your time and your body. The point here is dating and relationships are not transactional for a high value woman, not on monetary terms anyway. So there is nothing a man could buy for a high value woman that would make her feel obliged to give him sex. So she does not take this kind of BS from anyone. If she thinks it's too early to get sexually intimate and simply doesn't feel like it, she listens to her inner wisdom and intuition and she does not do it. She makes it very clear that she does not owe anything to a man, especially sex, and that she will let him know when she feels ready to get intimate with him. And whatever a man paid for does not come into play in that decision. This is the high value woman way. Number three, any form of abuse is totally unacceptable. And here I am talking about all types of abuse, be it physical, mental, emotional, financial, verbal abuse any form of abuse is actually a deal breaker for a high value woman. A high value woman has very little tolerance for abuse and would probably give one warning at most before walking away and removing herself from an abusive situation. If she feels abused in any way, be it through words, inappropriate physical contact, sexual comments, violence, manipulation, gaslighting, being lied to multiple times, a high value woman won't hesitate a second to cut a man off immediately. She really has zero tolerance for this kind of behavior and this is a very strong boundary for a high value woman. Number four, your time is precious. A high value woman is very respectful of other people's time and she expects this respect to be reciprocated. 
also a high value woman values her time in small and big things and by that I mean she is looking for someone who respects her time for daily things such as showing up on time giving proper notice prior to canceling any plans someone who answers text messages promptly and doesn't take her presence and availability for granted but she is also looking for someone who is respectful of her time on a larger scale by showing awareness of the different time frame a woman operates in with regards to relationships and by that I mean a man who's not going to waste years of her life when she gets uh, to a critical age knowing that he does not see any future with her so when a high value woman senses some carelessness in a man with regards to time she perceives it as a red flag and can quickly cut her losses no matter how much she likes the man Number five, your right to a secret garden. I have to say that I was guilty of that one myself and I believed years ago that we should not have secrets for each other in a relationship until I had a taste of my own medicine. I am not talking of course here about big secrets that would be plain dishonest if you keep them for yourself like you have been married before or something like that but what I'm saying is that you have a right to privacy even within your relationship. There are certain things that you are entitled to keep for yourself for example how many men you date before. You don't always have to answer to certain questions and disclose this kind of information. You can simply say if you are asked this question, I am sorry but I prefer to keep these things for myself. If you have other examples of things that you believe you are entitled to keep for yourself, please write them in the comment section below and thanks for watching.